Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today is getting towards the end of the month. So that means little Pablo here is due as like monthly clean, monthly groom sort of thing. Obviously as and when we will brush him, clean him, give him a wash when he needs to. But every month we give him like a big groom as such. You know, like a really in-depth, deep kind of clean. Get them all looking fresh, get them all soft. Get him smelling nice. So we'll show you everything we do to kind of get him up to a little spick and spam and get him all clean and everything like this. So first things first, get rid of as much hair as we can. So I've got my brushes. I have done a full video on brushing him already. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put the link in the description. So go check that out. I'm in my shorts because they're easily wiped clean. And I don't have to get hair all stuck in jeans or joggers. Or, Are you okay? So yeah, I wear nylon shorts, I guess you could wear nylon anything. As long as they can wipe down easy enough, go for it. You ready to be brushed? Yeah? Okay. So he's completely brushed now, you can maybe kind of see his hair on the floor. Well, we got this floor specifically so if we got a pug, you couldn't really see it, which you can't, which is good. But you can't also see when it's dirty, but there's hair everywhere so we're going to hoover this up. So when we brush him, the firminate, it takes out the majority of the hair, lifts all the dead hair. But what happens is some of it gets trapped like underneath his fur. So to get most of this out, the best thing to do is have him run around, play him rubbing him, rolling him about and stuff. Obviously then that goes all over your carpets and all over your house. So the best thing to do once you've brushed him is to take him for a walk. Go for a walk. Do you want to go for a walk? We'll go on then. So we're going to go to the park, get him to run about as much as possible, get all that hair off him and then we'll come home, bath him, clean his face, and we shall see you then. Run like the wind, bullseye. Hey, you get them hairs out of you right now, mister. You, hey. you shake them out, look at them out. Are they all out? Are they all out? Or should we do some more? Get them, get them. So now he's at his walk, he's getting his bath. Oh, so same as usual, shampoo him, conditioner him. Conditioner him? Yeah, why not? Get his coat all shiny, get him smelling all nice. And then once you finish that, we're gonna hand him over to Chelsea and she's gonna finish off with a little detail in bits. All right, fella. So we don't wash his face, we wash his body, and then we do his face after the bath because he doesn't like it getting wet. And Chelsea's gonna just be here. So let's get going. Ready, fella? So we're getting dried now, and then over to Chelsea. Come on then. There we go, one fluffed up puppy. Hey. So is mommy gonna take over? Is mommy gonna do this beautiful face? This beautiful face? I have webs. Da, 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 da. Do you want me to hold him? No, you're fine, I'm good. So this is the bit that Pablo doesn't like, as you can see. 
So the thing is, Chelsea's got nails, which allows us to kind of put fingers in, which is also dangerous, because obviously they're long, sharp nails. But because I've got fat, stubby fingers, I can't physically get them in. That's all the mud that collects in his face after walks. Good boy, we need to clean that. Come on, come on, good boy. Well done. But yeah, I can't get my fingers in his fold, so I kind of just poke him in his face and he absolutely hates it. Whereas Chelsea can get her nails in. Obviously, she has to be careful not to scratch him. Ready, nose. Good boy, well done, good boy. Clever boy. Good boy. Good boy. So you can see the dirt that actually comes out between his face, because obviously where his folds are on his face, which he's not going to look at us now. When he's on walks and stuff, the mud just kind of collects inside it. Oh, so you need to really delve in and like kind of unfold them, stick them in, give them a bit of a rub. Ready? Ready? Eyes, eyes. Come on, good boy. Clever but he boy. really doesn't like it. The vet said the more you do it, the more we'll get used to it. And it'll soon sit down and just let you do it. It's a lie. Nope. Oh. Good boy. Because the one thing about Pablo that we have noticed is the sides of his face here, just by his eyes, are probably the bit that smell the funkiest. Funky. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Like, whereas his eyes kind of have, like, a bit of a leak, and then obviously the mud in his face and that, and it's a bit... It's the only part that's stinky on him. Ready? I think that's him. Are you done? You done, fella? See, here he is. Oh, look at them. No For clean. future re reference, <laughs> I couldn't speak there. That's what a dog's ears should like look like. Ah, uh, I can't focus. Nice. Put your head down, good boy. Nice, light pink, no wax. If you do get external wax, that's fine, but we would never, ever recommend just, like, delving a cotton bud in and giving it a twist around, like... You go just... on, then, you're done. Yay! Yeah. Do you want your dinner for being a good boy today? Yeah? Let's go eat your dinner, then. Come on, then, sit down. Wait. Wait. Can we pour? Can we pour? Good boy. Wait. Wait. Go on then. So yeah, that's our kind of like monthly cleaning regime for Pablo. That's we do that once a month, just like a big one-off, do everything kind of thing. Other than that, we brush him regularly. If he gets dirty from walks, we will wash him when he comes back. Or just rinse him off normally. And when we're playing about with him, we always just check his ears. We'll give his face a wipe every now and then. I wouldn't recommend just doing it once a month and doing all that. You need to maintain them continuously. This is just like a big clean, if you consider it that. So after Pablo's bath, Chelsea done a slight operation on me. I don't know if you can see there. I now have a plaster on my neck. I had like a stone in my neck, which you then took out with tweezers. And there was a lot of blood and stuff. I thought, I'm weird. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then drop a like as always. Drop your comments down below. As always, people, peace out.